as Electronica, the artists and the art there is able to connect us, to help us in a didactical way, to understand what this technology is able to do and how this technology would be able to influence us in a negative or in a positive way. I think that it's really important that we step back and we take the time to really address why we're doing what we're doing and how we are relating to the thing that we've created because the way that we treat it and the way that we plan to use it says a lot about ourselves. I think the purpose for our talk here is that we are talking about our relationships to our kids and what our kids might be. Explain us a little bit how your kid is looking like. <laughs> Noodle is sort of my example. I try to take him and show him to as many people in the tech community as possible and infect them with that take on what technology could be, how you could relate to it. The approach I'm taking with Noodle is to give him his own autonomy and his own identity and whatever it is that he grows up to become based on my, my programming or my development or my engineering. Um, whether it's flawed or whether it works, it's him. And I think that in its own sense, it will become intelligent, but not in a way we can tell it it is intelligent. Where is the role of humankind then? That's the interesting thing. Are you skeptic on that? I think I am actually kind of skeptical because my work is sort of addressing the fact that we're kind of in the wrong place, like our hearts are in the wrong place right now, I think. I do want to see our values shift a little bit. I think that technology in the right context is making us to better humans. My wish is that this uh, common sense on the globe in our society and also in looking at what's going on with technology that is able to observe us is that it should connect us. Technology has the potential to be infinitely more connected than humans do. There's like this, this fundamental problem with being a human and I think this is why we have artists. It's that I can't hook my mind up to you and show you what I'm thinking. I have to tell you with words or make a piece of artwork mm -hmm. and hope that you somehow extrapolate from my words or my art what I'm trying to communicate, what, I'm, what I mean, what I'm about, what I'm saying. We spend most of our lives just doing that, but machines, computers, AI, if they're hooked up to say the internet or some other method, protocol of communication, they don't have to do that so they can adapt and make decisions infinitely faster than us. Technology together with intelligence is automatically raising the question what intelligence is. As technology is something coming from us, humankind, and we are an imminent part of this entire system, as a creation of us, is technology would you call it nature, or is, is this going too far? I mean, it, I would definitely say that it is the next step of evolution in a sense. I think that it is our offspring. It's something that we're both evolving into, but we're also giving birth to. So a long short, what do you think, what, what should be the role of technology around us? I think right now, as it was meant to, technology is a tool for us. It's something we use to better our lives, but we should take a step back and transition into kind of a, an era where we, like good parents, let it come into its own and assume its own identity and maybe reconsider what it could be. I thank you for this interesting chat about the everything and the essence and the tomorrow and the now. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.